the borough of Brooklyn is the location for the Celtics. An exceptional athlete with a terrific skill set. Jalen Brown, a critical piece for them as they assemble themselves for basketball. At Barclays Center, Celtics Nets coming right up. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. We'll take a look at the Celtics. They've got the number one record in the conference, and because of it, each night out, their competition is going to bring it right at them. And, of course, the Nets just a couple spots back. And you know, for the Celtics, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Well, this is their goal. There's no doubt about that. For what many expected of them so far, they have not disappointed. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Barford and Porzingis are manning the post position. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And for the Nets, Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Cameron Johnson. Then there's Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Bridges. And it's Dinwiddie in at the one. You know, both these sides' doors are very stout on the defensive end. Scoring might be tough to come by. Well, you have two coaches who believe that championships are won with outstanding defense. So, number one, you try to contain the ball. If a rotation is required, it is on time and on a string, and they challenge every shot. Just special defensive units. The Celtics on offense. Now, here's Tatum. The kick out to Brown. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Now, Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep. Boy, you better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Johnson outside. Three-pointer. Connects from three-point range. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Tatum's shot is off. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Nets. On the wing, Bridges over Brown. Austin grabs the miss. They're getting their first look at the season at the Nets in this one. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. Now, here's Tatum. Coming off a solid outing against Indiana. Pass to Horford. On the wing, Holiday. Shot clock at three. Shoots. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. The Nets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. There's the pass to Finney Smith. On the wing, Johnson. Guarded by Tatum. Pass to Dinwiddie. Finney Smith kicks to Bridges. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, a high motor player like Mikael Bridges has got to make quick decisions. Rise and fire off the catch and shoot, Mikael. Now here is Holiday. He had 15 points last out. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. Passes to Horford. And finished off by Horford. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. The Nets have gone two for four from the field so far today. Doris, when the Brooklyn Nets traded KD, they got back some interesting pieces, including Mikael Bridges. Boy, uh, Kevin, this guy was a role player for all intents and purposes with the Suns, a 3 and D type. But once he got to Brooklyn, he was given more responsibility 
and up his offensive production, it looks like he's ready for a bigger and bigger share of the responsibility. Celtics trail by three. Pass to Tatum. On the wing, Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Now, here's Dinwiddie. He saw him with 10 points last game. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Round against Bridges. The pass to Tatum from deep. And again, Boston with the triple. Jason Tatum has built such consistency from beyond the arc. Doesn't matter if there's a contest or not. Bridges outside. The teardrop falls in. Bridges has got five points so far. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Holiday with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. Here's Horford. Pass to Persingas. Brown wide open. He fired. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The high-value three-point opportunity for Jalen Brown. This guy's a threat from anywhere. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. And break the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. And you gotta pay to play. Or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Finds Bridges. Passes it to Dinwiddie. There's a screen. Down low, Claxton. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Here's Brown. He has six. Holiday left side. Horford with a screen on Dinwiddie. Shot clock at six. Horford kicks to Holland. Again, the Celtics good for two. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Dinwiddie against Holland. Bridges outside. Shoots over Brown. Bridges misses. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Boston. They lead by four. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. For Brooklyn, they've gone 5-9 of nine from the field here in the first. To the inside, Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists now in this one. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Now here's Tatum. Horford with a screen on Johnson. And here's Tatum for three. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Brooklyn's gone two or two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Bridges outside. They set the screen. Here's Claxton. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Celtics with the lead. Outside Holiday. Tatum down low. He's guarded by Johnson. Tatum kicks to Holiday. The Celtics need to get a shot off. That one drops for him. Just such a good 
feel for the game. Porzingis sees that clock dwindling, stays calm. Money in the bank, baby. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Thomas checked in for the Nets. And the Celtics also making a change. White's checked in. Nets trail by four. Dinwiddie outside. Inside. And then Jackson with the jam. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Guys, how about that body control from Porzingis? You think it's easy as seven foot three to gut your way through that kind of contact? That's nice. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long range shot here early on. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Nothing on the board. Driving to the basket. And he uses the glass on the lane. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Celtics leading by three. Now Brown, he's got six. It's hauled in by Claxton. For Brooklyn, they've got eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. Johnson finds Thomas. Pass to Dinwiddie. Six on the shot clock. Here's the screen. A three. The rebound by Holiday. Boston's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Horford sets a screen for Holiday. And the three off target. Next trail by three. Dinwiddie with it. And the pass to Finney Smith. Back to Dinwiddie. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Thomas outside. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. Celtics leading by three. He dishes it to Brown. Outside, White. Kicks it to Holiday. Celtics passing it around. A three ball. And it's Brown missing. So it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. On the wing, Johnson. Back to Thomas. Puts up a deep three. Austin grabs the miss. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now, here's Brown. He's got six. Horford with a screen on Johnson. Here's Brown. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by, number one, improving his handle, and number two, becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special.
He's off on the first. And still so much, Greg, to learn about these teams. When do we get a sense of a team's true identity? Well, not this early in the season. I'd say at least a quarter of the way through it. That's when you kind of get a sense of a squad's chemistry. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Simmons checked in for Nicholas Claxton. O'Neal comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Walker's checked in for Johnson. And it's Bridges in for Dinwiddie. Now, here's Bridges. 20 points for him last game against Chicago. White against Thomas. On the wing, Walker. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Round against Walker. Lost to Pritchard. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. Simmons passes to O'Neal. Dishes it to Thomas. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Looking at the last game for the Brooklyn Nets, it was a win against the Bulls in Chicago. And the basket by Tatum. Well, you see the effectiveness of Jason Tatum in close. Don't sleep on both his strength and his length. Here's Thomas. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. And boy, did he go straight at the defender on that possession. Didn't bother him at all. And White kicks to Brown. Fires the three. Thomas grabs the rebound. That's trail by six. To the inside. And stolen by White. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Pritchard gets the bucket. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Outside, Simmons. Walker with his screen for Simmons. Outside, Walker. No good on the three. And so it's Boston in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be back with you shortly. second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. Celtics leading by eight. They've got O'Neal. Thomas is out there with Mikel Bridges. Then it's Lonnie Walker. And it's Simmons in at the five. That's the next five as we get into the second quarter. Tatum's shot is off. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. O'Neal. Rebounded by Hauser. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. From 13, Ben Simmons with the rebound. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. And he said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like that. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. It's the Nets now, following the three-pointer by Boston. Passes it to Simmons. Back to Bridges. Shoots from 14. It's hauled in by Cornette. Celtics leading by nine. And here is Tatum. He's got five. 
Outside, White. Three-pointer. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And here's Bridget. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Good work there as it goes. Such a smart offensive player. Mikel Bridges assertive and focused when he gets this close. Of course, we've talked about Boston's young talent for so long, they've now become battle-tested veterans. And it's incredible how young that that experience has taken hold. They have had players build big roles in so many big games. What a strong foundation, and now you've just got to keep building. And here is Simmons after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. This is what Ben Simmons does, guys. If someone's open, he will find him. For Boston, they've gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Tatum with it, now guarded by Simmons. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. Number one, the Nets. And that defensive reputation has value in and of itself. I mean, by the end of the season, teams were afraid to take the ball inside. Tatum against Walker. Here's Bridges. Simmons trying to get open. Bridges misses. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Pritchard gets the bucket. Nets trail by 10. Outside Thomas. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. And there's Bridges on the assist by Thomas. Bridges has got 11 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Pritchard. He picked up 15 points in the last one against Indiana. And don't forget the sensational plays he made out there. He saw the court so well, firing perfect passes to teammates for wide open shots. And here is Simmons after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Well, the length and skill set is a tremendous combination for Mikael Bridges. Starting to cook a little bit. Here's Pritchard, defended by Bridges. The deep three from Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Thomas. Bridges outside. Thomas against White. Down to five on the shot clock. It's hauled in by Cornette. I'm sure if he had the chance to do that possession over again, he would not have taken the shot. Here's Pritchard. Defended by Bridges. They set the pick. Tatum, that's for two. How about Jason Tatum with a little pocket pass and the pick and roll? That's nice. Nets trail by 14. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. No doubt, Greg, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player. And this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. Brooklyn making some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Cameron Thomas. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for O'Neal. And Johnson subbed in for Lonnie Walker. Zinkis is checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for Pritchard. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Yeah, no lack of confidence in Mikel Bridges. This guy believes he can make shots. Boston leading by 12. White looking around. He kicks to Holiday. Persingas with a screen on Simmons. And Holiday, here we go. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Second personal foul. Muscly for through contact. Holiday has the strength and body control to do it. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Horford comes in for Luke Cornett. And it's Brown in for Derek White. Oh. 
And you know, Doris, Brooklyn's gone through a pretty tumultuous few seasons. You know, Kevin, there have been some circumstances that were unpredictable contributing to what you're talking about. And now, as a consequence, a lot of turnover on the roster and on the coaching staff. Listen, it's never easy to make the kind of transition they've had to make. Nice shot by Przingis. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Claxton. Headed by Porzingis, and they pick up two. Bridges has got Trump now in this quarter. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Simmons against Holiday. Tatum dishes to Holiday. Horford with a screen on Simmons. Four on the shot clock. Fires from deep. The shot by Holiday, no good. And so Simmons will bring it up for Brooklyn. Down by 15. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. And that one falls for Bridges. Indoors, we know Mikel Bridges famously traded for Durant, but it's interesting. Durant was Bridges' favorite player growing up. And Kevin, it's always interesting when there's a connection between the idol and the guy who was idolizing him. But give Mikel Bridges credit. He has come into his own as a star. This guy has proven to be a capable offensive player and is one of the truly legit defensive wings that you have got to plan for. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Round against Bridges. Outside Tatum fires away from outside. Brooklyn with the rebound. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Dinwiddie passes to Claxton. Down low. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Puts it up from 12. To Finney Smith takes a three, nailed from three point land. Finney Smith's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Austin leading by 10. Now, here is Holiday, eight points for him. And the officials call it for a three second violation. Here's a look at some stats for Christoph Porzingis. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 23 points a game last year. Eight rebounds and two assists. And he does the heavy lifting on the glass, throwing himself into the rebounding battle with just complete effort. Well, you get the feeling he believes every rebound should be his, and most of them are. This guy is putting up tremendous numbers. Boy, you got to love the determination there. He got good position and didn't take any chances. Finished right at the rim. Holiday, the pass to Horford. It's Brown on the win. They need this one. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Brown's got 10 points in the game. And they're shooting just over 50% on their three-point attempts. Easy to see how they've been able to edge out in front. The pass to Thomas. Shoots over White. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. That one on White. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. Uh, for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And, and that's what we do in life normally, right? And the NBA's new CBA cracking down on the top spending teams, Greg, but also the bottom spending teams. Yeah, before teams had until the trade deadline to hit the minimum salary floor. Now they've got to be there day one. Or they lose out on luxury tax distributions, which could end up in the millions. 
Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Porzingis. He's coming off a 13-point game against Indiana. And the dunk by Porzingis. That's just fundamental basketball from Chris Stapp's Porzingis. Establish yourself inside and finish with the jam. Pass to Thomas. Sinks that one from the post. Thomas got six in the quarter. Don't you just love that mindset there? Stay one step ahead of the defense the whole time. Great approach. Fight the pass to Holiday. Lobs it up for Holiday. It's stolen by Johnson. Right at the free throw line. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to seven in the bucket from Thomas. He's got ten. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Holiday, the pass to Brown. Off target from outside. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Nets. Passes it to Claxton. Back to Dinwiddie. For three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. Here's Przingis following the three-pointer by Brooklyn. Kicks to Holiday. <laughs> Horford sets a screen for Holiday. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on an 18-5 run. Pass to Thomas. Now the pass to Finney Smith. That's tipped, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. That's a jump ball. Pushing it up, here's Boston. Here's Brown, and then Brown with the dunk. How about a little bit of daylight is all Jalen Brown needs up off his feet in a hurry. Holiday against Dinwiddie. Outside Thomas from past the arc. And that's collected by Drew Holiday. Boston leading by six. Pass to Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Johnson. Here's Brown. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. The Nets working the ball around now. Good D by Holiday. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Pass to Brown. Over Johnson. And it's Brown that time on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got six assists in the game. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Johnson with a screen on Holiday. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. One of those nights where the wheels come off, the nerves seem to be playing a factor. And Brooklyn making a change here. Bridges checks in. Celtics leading by 10. Now Brown. He had 16 points in the win against Indiana. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass. All around, it. just his effort level was off the charts. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Boston Celtics. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, Hopefully we keep it up. 
Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. Take a look here now at Boston. Well, I know you want to talk about standings and such, but right now, it's the GYGP. I know neither of you knows what that means, so nope. I'll help you. It means galvanizing your game plan. Wow. Pretty good. Now let's talk about that first half. It's been a runaway success for the Celtics. They've been selfless on offense, setting each other up. The defense couldn't really guess where the ball was going, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, really strong ball movement so far. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Broadcast so far, we're halfway through the game. What a game we're seeing from Mikel Bridges. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Austin leading by 10. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA, Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Starting off the second half, here's Joe Missoula's five. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. Holiday out there with Brown, and it's Brzingis in at the five, roaming the paint. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin. Still room to grow. David, thanks. Now, Dinwiddie, after Jason Tatum missed on that last three-pointer. Bridges kicks to Dinwiddie. Johnson outside. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got six assists here tonight. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. Now, here's Tatum. 14 points for him. Here's the three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Dinwiddie finds Claxton. Bridges outside. And here's Johnson outside. And Orford pulls it down. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. It's Brown on the wing. Defended by Bridges. Back to Brown. Outside Tatum. Ah, Tatum an assassin. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Pass to Claxton. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Bridges, and there it is for him. Bridges has got 21. Well, good defense, losing to better offense in that instance. You love how calm Mikel Bridges is in the face of that great contest. 
Outside Holiday from deep three-point land. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And now let's take a look at the stats for Drew Holiday. Great showing for him last season. He was around 19 points a game, seven assists, and five rebounds. And when he takes over at the point, he really keeps the offense flowing. Well, this is a guy who brings a solid skill set. Excellent ball handler, high level of playmaking, the perfect backup point. Now here's Brown. He's got 16. Outside, Horford. He kicks to Tatum. Brown outside. Get there, get there. Out left to the wing. And here's Przingis for a three. A rebound by the Nets. Next up in the dock at the Bucks following this one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Claxton the pass to Bridges. Great D that time from Tatum. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Now here's Brown. Outside Tatum. 16 feet away. Rebounded by the Nets. Finney Smith's got six rebounds in the game. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Claxton with it. Here's Johnson on the money from 12 feet away. Johnson's got it back down to within single digits for the Nets. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Celtics. 17 points was their biggest margin. To the middle. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And it's 13 points for Drew Holiday. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. Here's Claxton. Johnson outside. The pass to Finney Smith over Horford. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut down now to just nine on the basket from Finney Smith. Don't sleep on the mid-range opportunity. If the defense concedes it, Dorian Finney-Smith takes advantage. Tatum no good. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Greg, here we are watching Claxton. Who does he remind you of? You know, Kevin, defensively, he looks a lot like 80 out there. Similar builds. And, and Claxton can also handle the ball a little bit. Just want to see if this guy can develop an ability to play facing up to the basket. And Boston has possession following the bucket by the Nets. Tatum kicks to Brown. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Pulls it up. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Brown. Brown's got assist number five here tonight. How about the focus of Al Horford? He doesn't let the defense affect his shooting. Now here's Dinwiddie. Five points in the game. Here's Johnson. It's good again in the next one. Seventh great shooting night so far. Celtics leading by seven. And Holiday kicks to Porzingis. Back to Holiday. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Now, here's Dinwiddie. There's the try. Porzingis with the block, and it goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. Thomas checked in for Bridges. Eric White checked in for Boston. It's the Nets now. Nine-point game. Finney Smith. And again, it's the Nets missing. White dishes to Brown. To the paint. Here's Holiday. Brooklyn with the rebound. 
Finney Schmitz got rebound number seven for him tonight. On the wing, Johnson. Pass to Claxton. Johnson down low. Browns there, and it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Boston leading by nine. Outside Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. There's the triple. Porzingis can't hit. Brooklyn's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Johnson finds Dinwiddie. Back to Johnson. Passes it to Claxton. Lock at six. Dinwiddie for three. A rebound by the Celtics. 17 points was their biggest margin. Brown against Johnson. Porzingis with a screen on Johnson. Launches it. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Finney Smith's got rebound number eight now on the night. Back to Dinwiddie. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Outside Thomas. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Austin leading by nine. And here's Holiday. He's got 15. Tatum setting the pick for Brown. Right side Holiday. From the arc. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got six assists now in the game. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Now here's Dinwiddie. He has five. He has to Thomas. Now Finney Smith to stop the drought. Thomas, no luck. Now here's Tatum. 17 points in the game. Holiday with it. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tatum on the alley-oop? Nice. Holiday against Dinwiddie. Johnson outside. Back to Dinwiddie. There's the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Persingas has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He's missed everything he's taken in this quarter, and it's making it very difficult for them to come back. Brown outside. And there's the pass to Persingas. Over Claxton. And it's Boston with another. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Here's Thomas following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Back to Thomas. Take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Well, you look at Claxton leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. He didn't miss many easy chances last year, and he made the most of the tough ones as well. What a fantastic percentage. First free throw is good. And a new group in for the Nets. Ben Simmons, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. O'Neal comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for Johnson. And Mikael Bridges subbed in for Dinwiddie. And so he makes both from the line. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. 
Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Simmons. Fifty-six seconds left in the third quarter. The three from Thomas, and it's good assisting on the play with Simmons. Simmons got five assists tonight. At 6'11", with strong instincts and an excellent handle, sometimes setting your teammates up is easy, Ben Simmons. Now here's White, still without a basket. Elbow shot. Here's Pritchard. Pulls up on the wing. Good on the jump shot. And the Celtics lead by 13. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Bridges with the steal. Outside, Simmons. Back to Thomas. Bridges passes to Simmons. Yes, that goes in. Simmons got his first bucket of the night. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. He beat the buzzer! Delivery at the buzzer. That is beautifully done. Oh, oh beats the buzzer from way down court. These fans are stunned. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Celtics lead by 14. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And it's time now to bring you our state and the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Walker. O'Neal is out there with Ben Simmons. Then it's Bridges, and it's Thomas in at the two guard. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Now here's Walker. Out to Bridges. But Trey, the shot's good on the assist by Walker. Bridges has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Nets. Tatum against Walker. Tatum looking around. And Cameron Thomas picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team. Pritchard for the three. Mikel Bridges doesn't take a possession off. You love his willingness to harass the offensive player. So disciplined, so tough. Thomas a screen. Bridges left side. Just five to shoot. O'Neal outside. Off target from three point range. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. White the pass to Pritchard. Back to White. They set the pick. And the three ball is good. White's got himself on the board with three there. He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rising fire from three-point, and it is on target. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Bridges. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Pass to Hauser. Down low. Here's Tatum. And Tatum hammers it home. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. Bridges a screen on White. Thomas dishes to Bridges. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Hammers the alley-oop through. At 6'10 with excellent hops, Ben Simmons makes that look easy. Celtics leading by 12. And here's White. Tatum on the wing. A three. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got four rebounds now tonight. The dish to Thomas. Passes it to O'Neal. Simmons left side. Good. Nice job down low. Guard skills, but a big time forward or center type body. Ben Simmons making it happen inside. White the pass to Hauser. Kicks it to Tatum. Takes a three. Sinks the three pointer. Tatum's got 24 points. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Outside, O'Neal. To the middle, here's Simmons. It's hauled in by Cornette. Cornette's got four rebounds in this game. White the pass to Cornette, poked away. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Hauser. And the pass to Tatum, fires the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. There's Thomas at the three, and Pritchard pulls it down. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Tatum on the wing. Tatum draws the double. Richard passes to Hauser. Here's Cornette. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's White. And again, Boston with the triple. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Pass to Simmons. Back to Bridges. Shot to stop the run, and it's good assisting on the play with Simmons. Simmons got his sixth assist on the night. Walker against Tatum. There's the pick. The three. And the Celtics another three. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Thomas against White. Inside. Here's Bridges. Plays it up off the glass. Bridges has got 30. And the shooting has really been there for him today. But he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Now here's White. Tatum draws the double. Here's Pritchard. Passes it to Cornett. Releases. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Nets trail by 18. Bridges, no one around him. Drills it from outside. Bridges has got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Nets. White the pass to Cornette. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. The first one falls. Brooklyn making some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for O'Neal. Johnson comes in for Walker. And Dinwiddie's subbed in for Cameron Thomas.
and good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Dinwiddie. Bridges outside. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, you cannot let Mikhail Bridges get into the paint because he's going to hammer it home when you do. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Drains it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got 33. And what's got into him today? This is getting ridiculous. And so Simmons will bring it up for Brooklyn. They trail by 18. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's Ben Simmons putting the defense in a compromising situation, draws the foul. Ben Simmons at the line two times. That free throw, no good. Guys, if Ben Simmons can start to make these free throws, I think it opens up a world of opportunity. You don't have to duck the basketball late in game, and if you make a 15-foot jump shot, now you're a real threat. Boston making a switch here. Horford's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Celtics leading by 17. Bounce pass, Holiday. Tatum draws the double. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Tatum on the wing. Shot clock at six. Holiday, the pass to Brown. No good with the triple. For Brooklyn, they've gone seven of ten shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Bridges passes to Dinwiddie. Outside, Simmons. Johnson outside. That shot missing. Great D that time from Tatum. So it's the Celtics now. They led the game at one point by 20. Now Holiday. Outside, Horford. From outside, off the mark. Nets trail by 17. Bridges passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Bridges. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Jalen Brown. Well, they're playing with fire, putting Mikhail Bridges on the free throw line. This guy's so comfortable at the charity stripe. Bridges! And that one falls for Bridges. Well, what you love about Mikel Bridges is he is going to accept whatever his coaches and team ask of him. This is what's allowed him to be successful. And the Nets making a change here. Finney Smith's checked in. All three throws good from Bridges. Austin leading by 15. Now here is Holiday. Outside Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Brooklyn's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Back to Bridget. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Offensive rebound. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is the thing about Kristaps Porzingis. He has both size and skill, a high percentage play right there. Kristaps Porzingis. That free throw good from Porzingis. And you talk about a tough matchup doors for teams against this one. Kristaps Porzingis. He is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev, this guy has that rare combination of both size and skill, increasingly more efficient, and when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. 
we're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Dinwiddie against Howard. Bridges up top. Johnson outside. Six to shoot. Back to Bridges. There's the triple. No good from Finney Smith. Austin leading by 15. The pass to Holiday. Outside, Horford. Outside, Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Dinwiddie with the steal. Johnson with it. Picked up by Brown. Johnson, the pass to Claxton. Here's Bridges. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. Tatum sends that back. Johnson finds Finney Smith. Clock at four. Pass to Dinwiddie. An excellent defender. The way Holiday disrupts and stays active and engaged on this end, outstanding. Passes to Persingas. And he banks in the lane. Persingas has got four this quarter. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Bridges. And Brown over to help. A three from Johnson. It's hauled in by Persingas. Celtics leading by 17. Holiday dishes to Horford. He kicks it to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. And a whole new lineup here for Brooklyn. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Walker. I see him, I see him. Right side, Thomas. Doris, no one has their finger on the pulse of the league like you. So, that being said, what do you think the next coaching trend is going to be? I think the current coaching trend has had such success, we may not see a change for a while. The trend is hiring young assistant coaches to get in charge of their own operation. Look no further than guys like Mark Dagno and Taylor Jenkins. These young guys have had tremendous success building out programs. I think it's something that's going to continue. And O'Neal gets it to go. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. Now here's White. Hauser the pass to Pritchard. Outside, White to the inside. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now the pass to Cornette. Banked in off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 18. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jalen. On a real roll right now, how much pride do you take in the win streak? Um, let's just keep it going. Uh, just keep playing basketball, keep having fun, keep smiling, and um, it's fun when you win.
That alternative's not very good, so you want to keep winning. Thanks again, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Jason Tatum.